Hey everyone, it's Jessica with that hashtag show, and I'm here today with Janine Mason, who voices Eva in the new Apple TV Plus series, Wundla. Janine, tell me about Eva. What about her personality makes her perfect for this adventure? Oh, thank you, Jessica. Um, you know, I think uh, she is hardworking and uh, she definitely is capable and she's training. We see that in that sequence when we find when we first meet her in the underground sanctuary. Um, but she's also just so enthusiastic and excited to to finally get to do her mission and and um, and get to to contribute in her way to like get on earth and and, and find her people and find her community. Um, but I think what makes her best suited for this particular kind of of mission is that obviously it all goes south and everything is not as was expected. And her enthusiasm and her compassion and her joy enable her to navigate this all, to adapt and to thrive. Um, I think it's her superpower is, you know, her ability to to lean on all the the different alien species that she meets with like just such hopefulness and, and joy and and enamor them you know uh yeah it's her superpower definitely now you did mention we get to meet some very fun alien creatures did you have any favorites yeah. from this season oh that's a tough one that's a really tough one i was instantly enamored with otto uh just a water bear like that just sounds exactly how you want it looks exactly how you want it to um and he's just so tender and brad garrett did such a great job with this just sort of sweetness of him and their relationship just like makes my heart happy but i also love rovinder so much and i love an odd couple and those kinds of dynamics and you know when you set up a relationship you have so far to go and so them sort of being at odds at the beginning and her like ever present energy and and his grumpiness like it's just it's just like Oh, it's just like peak, peak entertainment. <laughs> I get it. I'm a, I'm a sucker for a grumpy character. I love a grumpy character. Now you've worked a fair bit in sci-fi lately because you had Roswell New Mexico and Upload and now Wendla. What appeals to you about getting to work in a sci-fi or a fantasy world? Absolutely. I mean, I think the, the history of it, there's been so much written about like what a gift it's been to storytelling and especially for actors of color, you know, where your, your differences are celebrated in sci-fi. Um, so it's just allowed so many like unbelievable performances and relationships to be revolutionary on TV. Star Trek. Hello. Uh, so I'm so grateful to be part of that legacy. Uh, but I also just think it like allows us to have bigger conversations about where our world is heading, um, in a way that is like tangible and digestible. <laughs> so this is definitely that Wandla. And I hope it's a show that will bring like families together to have conversations about like big themes and, and, and honest things that, that, that young people are going to encounter on, on their journey in life, whatever it might be. Um, so yeah. And then third would be sci-fi just lends itself to just such great fandoms. And I'm a nerd myself and I'm like, I love, I love, details i live for details and easter eggs and and you know when i like something it's like i'm i want to i want to be consumed by it i want to be all consumed by it so um i totally i'm excited to be engaging with fans now on this i'm excited to be at this part of the process yeah i love that and i'm glad you're a sci-fi fan because i also want to know if you could pull one piece of tech out of the one the world and bring it into this world what would you take Okay, so I'm obsessed with my Omnipod, <laughs> Omni, as we call, as we call it on the show. Uh, and you know, it was so fun developing their relationship because originally it was it was really just sort of fact based and quite sort of dry and very like here are your vitals and helping you navigate this new world and you got to eat something and um, it's time to pee and you know things like that. But then it we ended up building so much sarcasm into that role and sort of, you know, uh, commenting on things and and Eva having a relationship of of it being a savior and, and it being a nag was just so fun to develop. So I would love like my, a, a sarcastic Omnipod on my list in real life. <laughs> That's great. I respect it. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much for talking with me today. Everybody go check out Wundla on Apple TV plus. Thank you so much. Such a pleasure. All right. Have a good day.